ora, hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks very much for joining us for our Thursday weather video. And across the North Island, a lot of the severe weather now starting to ease. We've got a windy change arriving on the west coast and on the east coast, that low is deepening and more rain is on the way. Let's take a look at the animated wind map. So that, that cooler change, gee, it's not much cooler, it's only a little bit, um, has moved through the top of the country. And that's a change from the very humid east to northeast winds that have been around for the last few days. It was very muggy uh, over the weekend as well. The low has got a more of a circular shape to it. When we woke up this morning, it was all stretched out. Now it's getting more of a circular shape. And as we go through the next few days, it's just going to be stuck there basically, driving in southerlies or southeasterlies and plenty of showers along that eastern side. And in the south here, we're actually looking over, this is a big area of high pressure coming in through Australia, that's going to drift over the South Island in the week ahead. And I'm sorry to say Southland, you don't have much rain on the way. This is the uh, rain format for the next 24 hours, not the next week ahead, but the next 24 hours shows very little down here in Southland. And it's going to be like that for the rest of this month, I'm sorry to say. Uh, the region is very dry. But the main focus at the moment remains around the eastern North Island where rain will be moving around today. There'll be heavy falls in there, still the chance of slips, flooding, road closures. This is the 24 hour map and it is showing around about uh, 50 to 70 millimeters still to come through from seven o'clock this morning to seven o'clock Friday morning. So that's still a fair amount of rain, but it is sliding southwards. So right up here in the very uh, top of East Cape, rainfall totals are dropping quite a lot. And the bigger totals are really from Gisborne to Mahia Peninsula, uh, Wairoa, Fraser those places, Nuhaka. So just be on the alert for those rivers because they could be going up further over the next 24 hours. So let's get into the forecast. Here we are for Friday. And here is that low out to the eastern side, quite large now, and uh, the center of it, not too stormy, but it is large enough to drive in a, a fairly blustery southeasterly wind or southerly wind along that eastern side, and further north it'll be south to maybe even southwest. So let's just say southerlies for the North Island. In the South Island, the airflow is quite different. You might even have north easterlies coming in in some areas and a few showers there. The rainfall totals for Hawke's Bay and Wider Upper around 30 to 40 millimeters, but some heavy downpours may go beyond that. As we go into the weekend, the low sits there, doesn't really move. In fact, it's going to move back again towards the North Island, so it's not finished yet. But the worst of the rain is out at sea. So on Saturday, yes, you've got the southerlies and showers, but the rainfall totals are around 5 to 10 millimetres, so that's not too problematic. As we get into Sunday, the high pressure zone is moving into the South Island. Plenty of easterlies going into Australia with downpours for them. Uh, Cyclone Charlotte coming into the western side. And then we've got this low out here to the east, driving in more showers uh, on Sunday, but the totals are dropping quite a bit. And plenty of sun and dry weather for Auckland, parts of Bay of Plenty, Waikato, Taranaki, those areas are all looking pretty dry. Now as we go into next week, the low comes back. It doesn't want to leave us, it's homesick. So it's going to come back into East Cape. Now the rainfall totals at this stage are nowhere near like what we've seen this week because the more tropical element really that was feeding down into that low has been broken quite a lot. The high coming into the south here, that's stopping that low from dropping away from New Zealand. So that's the reason why it's lingering. But the rainfall totals, 15 to 20 millimeters, so hopefully not too problematic. And our final map here for Tuesday, again, the low is still stuck there, still more rain for Northern Hawke's Bay and Gisborne. You've got a lot coming up in the next week. If you're confused by these maps and how much rain is coming, just go to ruralweather.co.nz. Easy totals to see, hourly, uh, daily for 10 days out, and the graphs, which are really useful at sort of seeing where the spike in the rain will be. So take a look at that. Uh, a bit more wet weather out the east here in Cyclone Charlotte getting closer to Perth with a bit of wind and rain at that point in time. But really high pressure still in charge of the South Island next week. That's the reason why March is likely to end on a dry note for much of the South Island. That's all from me. We'll see you again on Friday with our next update.